welcome back to the Coco channel and to another tutorial Tuesday. This one's going up a little bit later in the day because today actually is Tuesday, but I wanted to get something up for you guys because I've been kind of lacking it on the video front, um, but I had already put my makeup on for the day and it was like very basic, boring, but I thought, let's do some hair and this is definitely a hairstyle that I get the most comments on and so I thought, let's do that. So um, it takes not very long at all. You don't need a lot of things to accomplish it. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. I don't even have anything on my lips. <gasps> uh, I just decided that I'm going to show you how I curl my hair because I do have other videos to do today. Um, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I curl my hair because every time I have my hair curled I get um, a lot of lovely comments and compliments from you guys and so I don't think I've done it in a long time. The last time I did hair I think I did the vintage vintage rolled um, so everything that I use will be down below as always I don't put a ton of hair products in my hair I could do a hair care routine let me know if you guys want to see that but the first thing I do is go in and put some texturizing spray because my hair is like very flat like it lays very close to my head and I like the voluminous look and so I'm going to use the Surf's Up texturizing spray from Eva NYC. This stuff is super affordable and it's on sale at Ulta all the time and so I just section it off and it smells amazing. If you haven't smelled any Eva NYC products, you're missing out on life. So after that, I go through and brush it all out. Um, this is a wet brush that I got from Ulta recently, and I absolutely love the um, design on it. It's like a floral, paisley kind of thing. After it is all brushed, I'm going to go in with my heat protectant. This is the Dry Bar 100 Proof Treatment Oil. Um, create shine seals ends to eliminate frizz and flyaways um, and also a heat protector. So I just put two pumps in my hand. And then I obviously start at the ends. I don't want to focus all of like the grease and the shine on top because then I just look super greasy. And I did just wash my hair last night, so it shouldn't look greasy at all. But that is why it's so frizzy. But my hair, there's some people who say like their hair always styles better with unwashed hair. Like the dirtier it is, the better it looks. Mine's literally the opposite. Mine always looks the best the day I, um, after I wash it. Okay, so um, I just use regular alligator clips to separate my hair. These are from Hot Tools, which are the ones that I'll link down below, but you could literally get these at like the dollar store or wherever you wanted to. Um, so I always do right at my ears. Um, I can usually get my hair done in about three to four sections, depending. Um, obviously, the thicker the section that you take, the looser the wave is gonna be. Um, my hair doesn't look great with loose waves. It looks cute sometimes, but I feel like when I do tighter curls, meaning smaller sections, it just looks better. It's my preference. Um, so I split off the half like this, and then I split the half in the back, like lace. And then I just work my way from the back to the front. I have so much new growth. From being pregnant it's insane uh, the curling wand that I'm using today is a hot tools one inch tapered wand um, it's the professional black and white one I'll link it down below I got it at Ulta so like I said I work from the back towards the front and so I point my barrel down and wrap it away from my face and I do that same exact curl on every single section. There's some people that alternate it, which can look really, really cute, but I do it this way. And so um, on this very bottom section is the only one where I split it directly in half. When I get to the next section, I'll show you what I mean. And I usually leave it on for about five to 10 seconds. Um, because my hair, hair is on the thicker side, it does take a little bit longer. There's some people that, um, 
Oh, I should probably tell you what heat I have it on. I Ooh, it's way too high. I usually keep it about 380, 390. I try not to hit four just because it's it's really, really bad for your hair. <laughs> and my hair is like super sensitive to everything, really. It gets split ends very quickly, very easily. And then um, the closer I get to the front, the smaller the section because I like the curl a little bit tighter up front. Just so it like frames your face really nicely. See, look at how cute that is. Also another tip is you want to keep it as flat as possible. So if you just kept going like this, see how my hair is starting to twist? That's when it's going to get kind of funky. So you want to keep it flat and kind of like thread it through your fingers, through like your pointer and your middle finger. That way it stays flat. Here I'll show you what I mean. So see how it's threaded through my pointer and my middle finger? That's what's going to keep it flat. And then I just bring it back, thread it, bring it back, thread it. And that's what's keeping it into a flat. It's all even, and it's not bunched up. The heat is gonna be applied evenly. It's not gonna have to wait, work its way through like a thick thing, plus it's twisted, it's just gonna look real funky. Okay, so um, on that very bottom layer, I literally just took it all and split it in half. Remember I showed you? So I'm going to put it to the back. And on this next section, I'm not going to go all the way to the back. I'll show you what I mean. So I usually go about one to two inches. And I go to the crown of my head right here. And that's my next section that I'm going to take. And bring it down. Same on this side. And then I take from the crown, the corner to the corner in the back. If you continue to do it split down the middle, even on these um, top layers, then you're gonna get that like split down the middle of your head where all the curls are going this way and all the curls are going that way. Whereas if you grabbed the back portion and did it going straight back, that's how you're gonna get that like cohesive look where your hair is laying the correct way, the way it's supposed to. And so I do like a couple seconds on each one because you are layering this kind of thick. So one, two, three. The root is what takes the longest to curl. Your ends take the heat the quickest. That's why I leave the roots on the longest with this one.
the same thing. I did two sections on the side, one straight to the back. So not only does this give you a cohesive look, for me personally, I have a ton of calyx to the back, so my hair lays funky anyway. Um, and it kind of just molds it to how your hair is supposed to go. Like, the back of your hair is supposed to be going to the back, not to the sides. Like mine does, naturally. So it also could be because I don't blow dry my hair. I don't know if... I've never been really good at blow drying my hair. You know how some people could literally like they take a shower jump out and blow dry their hair and it looks as good as like straightening or curling it but I've just never been one of those people that's good at blow drying so I'm much better with a tool so I always take a shower personally at night um, and I put Lonza trauma treatment among other a couple other things in my hair but the Lonza trauma treatment kind of acts like a glue even though it's like it's like a mask it's an overnight mask that I leave in obviously until the next day when I shower um, but I do it pretty much every single night because it puts my hair for the most part where it's supposed to go keeps my part I don't wake up with like super bad bedhead it's like glue but it's also a mask so it's like really good for your hair and I feel like it's an extra layer because I have that product in there and it's a trauma treatment it like acts almost as like a barrier as well for heat at least in my mind <sighs> that's what it does and why I spent so much money on it <laughs> trauma treatment's expensive but it's freaking amazing Whew. that's why my hair always has like a pretty good shine to it like not to boast or anything but um, I feel like out of anything I pretty much get the most compliments on my hair which is always nice um, even from strangers so, uh, I always share my secrets though. I'm like, on the trauma treatment. <laughs> uh, and it's helped a lot that I don't blow dry it every single, or blow dry, um, wash it every single day anymore. I maybe do it twice a week now. And that has made such a huge difference in my hair. I can totally tell a difference. Um, so this is gonna be my final layer. Uh, and I always work from the back to the front like this so I just separate a back layer like that and then pin the rest so I don't have to worry about getting in the way and stuff so I usually will take three layers for these ones one to the side one to each side and then one straight back so side, middle side, if that makes sense. But I want them all going to the back. And I, I, maybe you don't have issues like I do with like your part or calyx or anything like that, but I have to really train my hair. To lay a certain way. Okay, so I'm going to do one more layer going to the back. See how that one like is kind of already doing its own thing. It's not wanting to go to the back, it's wanting to go to the side. <sighs> Bastardo.
since my hair entirely curled. Now what I'm going to do is wait about five-ish minutes for it to completely cool. I want these curls to set. If I just go straight in and finger through them, um, it's going to like drop them. And if that's what you want, if you don't want as tight of curls, then by all means. But me personally, I don't like putting hairspray in my hair if I don't have to. It's just a personal preference. I don't like the way it makes my hair feel. I don't like the smell of it. Like I'm just not a fan of hairspray. And so that's why I let mine set is because they're going to fall anyways. Does that make sense? I think it does. Okay. So um, my hair is completely cooled and I literally just throw my fingers through it. Oof. And this is that Farrah Fawcett wave that everybody tells me. That's I get that the most. Farrah Fawcett, Charlie's Angels, 70s, but very much my favorite. I always feel bomb.com when I have this hairstyle on. Bomb! And now what I do is the lovely Miss Shauna um, told me about this about a year ago. It's been a while. Uh, this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Fresh Cut Split and Mender Instantly Seals and Heals Protection. Um, so you can put this in your hair before or after. Um, I do it after. I just put that in my hair and put it through and kind of just blah, and then and then it's hard to say like focus it on the ends because my hair is so layered like it pretty much just goes everywhere but that's it that is the finished look I hope you like it Ugh, like just even the bangs like how they swoop to the side like that oh I love this hairdo so much and when I'm not filming it obviously it takes me maybe 15 minutes so there's no excuse really for me not to be able to do this every day and look like a put together human being but at the same time I hate putting too much heat on my hair because like I told you it's like super sensitive and I don't want to do this every day because you saw I put just now three products in my hair um, if you guys want to see a nighttime hair routine let me know. See, I just, I just love it. I love this hairdo so much. So, um, that's it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some other hair tutorials, um, like how I get out of the morning, like out of the house super quick with looking semi-decent, um, let me know. I don't, I don't have like a ton of hair tutorials that I could bust out, but this is definitely one of my favorite. And like a highly, not requested, but one I wanted to do. So that's it. Give it a thumbs up. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. You are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you guys are not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye. <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking on my spit. <coughs> Damn, I am sweating. Whew, mom's hot literally dripping sweat.